Damn. Good morning, good morning, good morning. The boys just pulled up from the uh, from having a, a good good night last night. It, was, it, was good it wasn't a good night because I didn't get laid, all right? <laughs> Damn. Hey, we're not in Hawaii, bro. Yeah, I'm over here. Can't be getting laid out here, man. Man, I got a Lexus logo on. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh okay. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be doing... Uh, we we'll be doing these lug studs, and uh, after we do that, we're gonna we're gonna get some uh, more content on the LS. So stay tuned, and, and we'll get this party going. All right. So we are actually in the process of taking off the rear upper control arms, and um, I had these shortened by David at D Welding. I had them shortened an inch and a half on the rear instead of messing with the ball joint. And uh, I'm putting these on, but because we are going to be reselling these in a bunch of the forums and stuff, I'm going to, you know, try to help people out that can't afford all the expensive stuff or, or you know, just want to go unadjustable, I guess, save some money. Um, to get my alignment right and to add some more camber from the rear, I just ordered some, uh, yeah, we're, let's see. I was like, what else put did these niggas do? I, 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 I just got some of these, uh, Godspeed amber and toe arms and in that box actually is the battle version traction arms you have to see those oh shit all right so is that still stage to it everything so these right here these are the toe arms godspeed toe arms and these right here are the camber arms so with just the toe, the camber, and the traction arms, which are the three lowers on an LS400, um, buddy of mine's running them, and he's at negative 14, but I have bigger lips, so that's why I'm doing the shortened uppers. Um, but yeah, this will be able to give me more camber, adjustable on top of whatever the uppers are. Um, also, save a bunch of money. So these, these everybody goes Megan, but they're about double the price, and they are not in stock for like three months. So these, I believe all three of these, I got, these were a hundred bucks each, or like 110, 120, 100 I think, and then the battle version traction arms were, I think 160 or 180. Um, so if you just wanna go lowers and run not, you know, crazy spec wheels, just get the lowers, but. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the last spindle video that we did. I decided to do the exact same thing with this, um, we ran through a bunch of test stuff that didn't work out, so I'm glad I didn't waste a bunch of content. I'm doing this side, and then we'll show you the other side. So if we come over here, these, this is a comparison um, how short uh, we shortened the rear upper control arms. So basically all of this right here, we chopped off, and yeah, this was an inch and a half, I believe, almost, I think it was an exact inch and a half and that is gonna be all of the uppers. So what I'm gonna do is because we are gonna be remaking and selling these, I'm doing one side with just the upper to see how much camber this alone will give. And then you guys saw earlier that we got the Godspeed and the battle version arms. I'll be doing that on the other side and you'll be able to add more camber from the lowers as well, uh, along with getting a good alignment. So one side, we're gonna try this. We're gonna throw these on. Um, with the stock lowers just to see how much camber it gives it should be able to tuck the wheels no problem but i know the alignment will be off so we'll catch up to you guys once these are installed and then for the other side we'll go through step by step and uh, hopefully help you out as much as we can all right so i figured we do a quick little update before we do the other side we wanted to see how much camber the uh, shortened uppers would be would do alone just the shortened uppers no uh yeah stock stock lowers 
and we just put everything back together not completely the axles and stuff's not in but we bolted it up um to see where it would be and this is the turnout so let's see yes sir so of course it's not on the ground it's on the jack real quick but um that's how it looks an inch and a half shortened on the stock upper actually my yo my toe's not off that much yo why don't you go look at it from the front like yeah, I will. Front of the wheel. So you guys already seen the wheels, I think, on the ground um, before. Corona, sponsor us. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I was kind of. I was confused. I was like, yo. All right, now I need to do but yeah, so uh, definitely gonna lower the coilover some, and because of how much clearance this actually gave underneath i'll be able to run a little bit of a spacer just to make sure that it's not hitting on the coilover but damn i'm actually i'm super Relax. happy with this act it's safe for me, okay? yes sir i think an inch and a half off the upper might be a a lucky number so what we did to the other uppers oh where are they so these were the shortened uppers i showed you guys earlier what we ended up having to do, because this is a, a test and trial thing, we notched out a little piece that I will show you guys in a sec on here and on here. And then just because it was rubbing on the coilover a little bit, I am cutting out this little tiny lip. Let's see if you guys can get this little lip right here. Cutting that out um, gave us a bunch of room. And I'm going to grind it down just a little bit on these. Oh, let that focus. And I'll show you guys in just a sec, but yeah, again, I'm crazy happy. Shout out to Kelvin for helping me through all of this trial and error. Shout out to the boys for pulling up, giving some moral support. <sighs> Ew, it was foam. Yeah! All right, well, Kelvin's aired out. One, Maybe one day he'll be static. All right. Yo, I'm aired out. The, you have the Z in the background. I'm aired out, dog. And that's Alex. Yo, follow, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave it down below and uh, along with his Instagram link. And then we got the rest of the whips lined up right there looking pretty. So after we do this, we'll uh, catch up with you in a minute and then we'll show you how to do the other side with the such a way. So, all right. All right, so you guys saw the uppers uh, on yesterday night. I just got done this morning putting on the all of the lowers, none of them are extended yet. Um, they're all gonna be the same length as stock. So it's the same same amount of camber as it was yesterday. But uh, what'd you think? I mean, we did what we could, but now there's I more to adjust on the bottom. Way more than what we could do with the top. You mean way more than Trevor? <laughs> Chris ended up putting it out. Ty, watch out. <laughs> IV36 Dre. <laughs> so more camber than Dre. <laughs> Ooh, bam. All right, so they're on the ground. I don't know, well, that's what we're getting right now with uh, just the uppers. Lowers are not adjusted whatsoever. Um, we'll end up getting to that later. We wanted to make sure everything fits. I'm actually still gonna have to ground down some on the upper, but I should be able to do that with it on the car. So, I don't know. I'm saying like 12. Six, 100,000 bands. 200,000 band racks? 200,000 band racks in the backpack in the back seat at the back beat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna see what these are and uh, go from there. And we'll no! Damn it! The road speed. All right. Well, so yeah, now we're gonna get to this side with the car being jacked up. Um, there's a castle nut right here. And uh, it's actually the weird the way these are set up. So you actually have the axle nut and then the castle nut part just goes right over and holds the teeth. So there's going to be a little pin uh, to hold it in place. Let's see. Yep, there you go. Um, you just break that out. And then this right here is a, let's see, one and one fourth. That comes right off. Um, I'm gonna take a mallet, hit this, and the axle will pop in and then with oh i actually don't know where it's at let me see all right and with this i'm going to um let's see what size is this this is a 3 8 
with this 3 8 I'm going to get these oh, these back axle bolts off and see if you guys can see that there we go so I'm gonna undo these back axle bolts you'll have somebody step on the uh, e-brake you loosen two of them they'll step off the or they'll take the e-brake off and then you will spin it like this and uh, loosen those and then after that, it's just going to be these lower control arms. So you've got, actually you've got three lower control arms. Like I showed you before, you're going to have one right here. Uh, one right here. And one, if you guys can see that, right here. So you've got them here and uh, also on the back side. Oh, whoa. Also on the back side of this whole assembly. So... All right, so the boys just got back. Charles brought Steven and oop. Charles brought Steven and Tyler in the uh, Jimmy. I think is Duramax swapped, by the way. I want to do a build breakdown on that. But um, so yeah, so uh, I just got off all the lowers and I left the um toe arm. I believe that's the toe arm right there. Yeah, I left the toe arm on just so the bottom of this would not slip out. I took off the spindle and then so right here what I did because these are a pain in the in the ass to get to is I put a 19 on this side um, so it can't move and then luckily with these stock ones I just uh, I put this ratchet right here and then I honestly I just used my foot from the bottom and uh, applied pressure like this until it broke so I did that for both sides and then putting the shortened ones on it's actually a lot harder so I will show you guys how to do that once we get those cleared anyways um, I'm gonna clear them more than the other side so that it doesn't hit the coil over at all because I'm gonna have to re-clearance the ones I just put on so I'm gonna get to this real quick and uh, yeah hopefully this side should be easy because the other side was trial and error I needed to see how much just those shortened uppers would give without the lowers and luckily this side I can just take everything apart so uh, we'll catch up with you in just a second if I have any problems with these uppers if not we will show you the uh, clearance what we're gonna do for the clearancing so yeah what is up what is up welcome back we just got the uppers on oh what's good you got a bomb go off in front of your face y'all making fun of me now Ooh, hit her up. Was Look, let me let me get a gear. How she was going on here. <laughs> this man, this guy is man, so today the atom bomb explosion didn't go too well. We lost about 46 lives. Injured. I'll show you what's going on. This is the man in charge of the bomb. That's a coronavirus All right. prevention. That boy. So that boy's a rolling coal bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, it's showing you. I'm just fucking around. We cleared. We cleared right here so that it wouldn't hit the strut. Um, I squared this out and did this more than the other side. Uh, the bolts are on and this is just holding it up for um, the brake lines and stuff not to hit. Alright, so both sides, oh let me go to the other side and show you. Both sides have been clearanced. Um, as you guys can see right here on both sides, I'm actually going to have to clearance that just a little bit. But this was what was hitting. Once the car is actually jacked up, it uh, wants to rub right here. So I just took the grinder and squared that out and it gave it clearance room. Um, this side axle and uh, I only have two arms on. The toe arms are sitting right there. Nothing's really tight on this side um, because I had to clearance everything. So basically on the other side, on the passenger side, all I have to do is tighten the coilover bolt and that side is done. And then on this side, I just have to put all of the lowers on make sure that they're tight uh, of course after I do the axle so I could at least put it in and then yeah she should be ready I think we're gonna do a uh, I think Kelvin's gonna help do a string alignment later today so we can at least you know drive it a little bit and see how it rides but yeah so we jacked up basically from the bottom until the car started coming up and nothing was hitting so that's how I know it clearance just enough I'm ready to rock and roll so once the sides back together we're gonna drop her on the ground and uh, Hopefully she moves. Ready to get this thing on the floor. She fucking better move. The fuck? It will. <laughs> so everything is on, arms are on. We actually have the little 
studio for Kelvin. He's uh, we're doing an eye alignment. We tried doing a string alignment, um, and you know that's actually pretty close. We're gonna mess with it just a little bit, just uh, to go to the gas station, make sure everything is okay. This side isn't jacked up yet, um, underneath the jack, but uh, but yeah. So we'll show you everything else in the morning. Um, that I guess I haven't showed Ooh, you. Just the arms being tight. One of my one of my Snapchat friends is watching one of our old videos right oh. there. Look at that, oh. Mr. Nick Saran. Oh. Shout hey, out to him. shout out Nicky Poo. But yeah, so the wheels. Oh shit, sniper. The wheels look pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it at least, especially it just being the uppers. We haven't adjusted any of the lowers yet. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. I'll give you an update at the gas station, and then tomorrow morning after everything else settles and uh we might be messing with the lowers so catch you in a bit hope you've enjoyed so far and uh stay tuned to see the final product all right so we just tried going on a test drive and we thought there was gonna be dude these guys are laughing at me over here <laughs> yeah. all right well all right either way we just tried going on a uh ooh. <laughs> We just tried going on a All right, all right. We just yeah, we just tried going on a test drive. Basically, the barrel is up against the coilover. We can't throw a spacer just because the fenders aren't pulled. Um so perfect fitment without the spacer. Yeah, it's perfect fitment right now, but uh with the spacer it would be just on on the uh fender. So, I think what we're going to do is adjust the camera and stuff, add a little bit more with uh just these uppers. I took a picture. I'll uh, maybe put it at the end. 15, with uh, 15, 16, with an inch and a half off the uppers, not really adjusted any of the lowers other than uh, kicking out some of the toe. So this is how uh, this is how she sits right now, and I think we are going to jack up the car, add in some either camber or toe, try to kick it out the bottom just a little bit, um, or maybe even take a little bit out just so we can. Uh, not hit that barrel but yeah it's a little bit scuffed up on the back oh well it can be it can be buffed out oh master alignment mass <laughs> <laughs> i got it oh uh, long nights in the garage <laughs> in the garage <laughs> in the garage Ooh. all right so it's actually the next day everything's tightened um i actually can't fit these wheels right now just because it it bangs the uh coil over on the barrel and with the spacer it's just it's too big um for the fender so until i can get those pulled then this is what we're doing for right now everything's pretty tight um <laughs> kind of looks broke right now but oh well so this is how we're rolling. We're just gonna go for a test drive real quick, see how everything is. With an inch and a half cut on the uppers, uh, the minimum amount of camber I can have right now is negative 15, negative 16. All the lowers aren't even adjusted or extended yet, so it's about the minimum amount of camber that I can run. So. I did the alignment myself. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a ride. Um, I might have Steven in Tyler's car with the camera, just getting a little uh, rollers. It's not going to be that long. Um, we just want to make sure everything runs all right. And I guess I'll catch up with you guys after the test drive. So we're back from the test ride. Everything, uh, everything went all right. Of course, I'm just dragging exhaust. Um, and being on 18s, 
puts me that much lower compared to the weds. But we've got the lineup sitting for the sunset. Lexus, Fairlane, Skyline, Jetta, GTI. Ethan's over here washing his car before before Dane shoots. Shoot. And we got Mr. Buy with Cam, yo, best photographer in the O. Y'all hit him up. I'm gonna put his Instagram down below. And uh, I think Brandon has a rat rod with the 2JZ. I think they're pulling up. And then I don't know who else is pulling up. So, so yeah. Now we wait. Ooh, who this is, Skunt? Oh, the play. He pulled up. This guy's riding his car. Why is it so dark? Huh. Damn. Coming out hot. Okay. Okay. Get you some of that. Yes, sir. Ooh, let's see the shirt. Audi. Fresh out of work, you feel me? We out here at the uh, Octane and Zip Ties house. We're gonna put some work in, see what we got. My boy Ties Whip right here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Damn, Mr. 2J Hot Rod. Oh, this thing is so fly. Yeah. Bye with Cam, Dane, we're about to go shoot. Remember, I'll leave his link and I'll leave Brandon's link down below to his Instagram. You guys have probably seen him. It's at Week Fitment. He had a crazy LS430. Yeah, this thing's bagged too. So, I want to do a build breakdown on this and uh, some of the other projects, the projects they got. with the camera boy with camera that's my cousin <laughs> we just got to a place to shoot I think we're gonna finish it up here hope you guys enjoyed the video with the Lexus uh, we're just gonna wait for Andrew and Ethan to show up and I don't know shoot around a little bit we got some errands to run tonight again hope you guys enjoyed this video hope all of this content is helping you guys with your builds if you have any other questions put it in the comments below or hit any of us up on instagram you know this content's for you guys so like comment subscribe share the video and stay tuned for more content